the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100. When you look at the earnings, that kind of set the tone for the day. We've had bank earnings over the past basically three trading days. And then we have the big boys, Tesla and Netflix tomorrow. And when we look at the action that's taking place, I just want to highlight something here before we have any of the naysayers or anything like that. You know, expect, you know, the estimate on revenue for Morgan Stanley, 13.5. The revenue reported 23.5. So we're seeing massive beats on these banks. OK, now, in comparison to show you what's happening there, KRE absolutely just ripping and, you know, getting revived like me for the fifth time in war zone. You know, you go something like XLF, you look what's happening with big banks, and they've obviously just been really coming back almost back to where they were, you know, pre bank collapse, if you will. So that's a good action that we're seeing. You know, you look a little bit deeper and Microsoft also did a lot of work today. Really nice push breaking into all time highs. And if you've been here for any time, you, I've been saying Microsoft price discovery, price discovery, tapping back into what's happening with Apple. So, you know, this is all working hand in hand. So that's kind of what's the, the big movers on the market today. I want to make sure that's clear. Now, we go a little bit deeper in something like NASDAQ. And NASDAQ's pushing into 16K flat, a very massive level. We just keep, we're just stair-stepping at this point. Uh, it's all you need to know. That's where we're going. We're finding a little bit of resistance here at 16,008. And that's basically where we're at. Okay, potato, tomato, that's where we're at. ES, very close to 4,600. You're, you're basically just toe tapping there. You almost got to it today. So I want to make this really clear. Tomorrow, I, I don't see crazy movement. I don't. Maybe we get some early in the morning, but but maybe. I, I say tomorrow is, is a pump the brakes type of day. We have Tesla and Netflix in the after hours. Most likely our biggest earnings of the week. TSM is on Thursday morning. So it's going to be like a back to back tomorrow as well. So just make sure we're paying attention to those. Now, going really quickly, we're in a trading view just for a sec. Shout out Jay Reem. He's not going to be happy about this one. But we go quickly into trading view. And I want to just continue to paint the picture of what's happening with big money here, right? When I mean, you look at big money, you're trying to figure out what they're doing. You got to look at some of these indicators or some of these charts, in my opinion. You know, DXY in particular, where are you at? We're trending at these lows, you know, low lower than 2021. So giving you a visual, you know, the market right now is more bullish than 2021, the recovery from 2020. You know, don't shoot the messenger. We're above those, you know, we're, we're below there on VIX. You know, we go back a little bit deeper and we look at some of these tech names, XLK. You know, you broke all-time highs here today on XLK. All-time highs broken. You know, Apple, uh, I believe Microsoft is a big name in this one as well. Technology going crazy. So it makes you to wonder of, you know, how, how much more room do we have? And is this really like, you know, everyone's talking about this bear thesis or this great crash. I'm just like, I mean, we, we already recovered. So are, is it really the bear market? How, how what's kind of taking place there? You know, a little bit deeper. The few concerns I do have are more around oil and energy prices. But I will say, in my opinion, oil is still in like a descending triangle, pushing to, you know, lows. You have your 200 SMA, I believe, if we go to something like right here, let me pull it up on the weekly down here, you're holding on to, but you're pinched between the, the daily and the weekly 200 SMA. Okay. Giving you a visual of DXY, DXY has been incredibly bearish, pushing back down to the 200 SMA. We talked about this for weeks. Your target is roughly $98, and in my opinion, that's helping push this risk on mentality, right? People need a place to put their money, put their assets, and and that's what we ultimately led to this point. Okay, uh, another point of view we should be covering is yields continue to drop. You know, the daily we're kind of flatlining here, but we are getting a bear flag trying to push back down. This is a good highlight here. You know, five. 10 2 pushing down we need to, to show more love to the downside but this is what we're seeing the inversion also pushing back down as well good notes there one thing i will say is gold has been bouncing over the past few days it's most likely bouncing into fomc next week makes logical sense uh we'll get more of an answer there but that's the big things as we look at those areas on the chart now when we, we look at the action taking place here okay i want to show you a few big in my opinion flags in the market we're looking at russell we can see the clear move on russell russell is just going straight up and i've also said this if we look at sectors of the market the dow the nasdaq es and the russell the russell is the one that has the most room to go up okay so again i'm going to continue pushing this because i think people need to be paying attention because again this is where i see the best opportunity over the next few weeks 
as we see earnings playing out, yes, you're seeing a lot of these names like Snow, AVGO, NVIDIA pushing to all time highs, AMD pushing back up, Microsoft, right? Those are great winners. But I'm always trying to find the next play, right? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm focused on what's in front of me, but then I'm also focused on, hey, how do I make the next one? How do I how do I get the, the next setup? How do I make sure I'm ready? How do I make sure I'm not over overzealous, over pushing for an idea or a trade? Okay. Now, before we go into this right here, I want to tell you one thing. Consider liking and subscribing here on the channel. We post videos every single day so you are prepared. If you're interested in joining Discord, the link is down below as well. But if you're a beginner, we do have all education here for free. We do not sell any type of lesson plan or any type of course. We have that all free for you. So if you're new, make sure you start learning before you just jump into Discord or you'll just be completely lost, right? You can also see compare the plan so you know what's right for you specifically as a trader. Now, getting back into this with Russell. Again, giving you a visual, this is just the index here, right? So you have your SPY and your ES. So I always say chart ES, chart NASDAQ, and then trade SPY, trade QQQ, if that's what you want to do. Now we go to Russell and just look at the comparison. You know, Dow, you know, very close to all time highs. You've really have been so close this whole entire time. You know, ES, very close. And Q, very close. Back to Russell. The furthest down, so much room. So that's what I'm saying. With this earnings season coming up, I think you're setting the tone for potentially these small mid caps to start really working their way. I'm going to mention some of those at the end of the video, so just stay with me. But that's what we're looking at here. I'm getting very excited about this, and you're seeing what's happening here. You're seeing Russell kind of performing best on the day. Up on the day, 1.4% in comparison to the Dow, 1.1, ES, 0.7, AQ, 0.82. Again, almost double the performance from Russell in comparison to the rest of the market, which still points to the direction that big money is buying and buying and buying. Just saying, take it for what it is, but you're seeing the opportunity, you're seeing it kind of line up once again. Okay, we need to understand where we're at, how we're playing out. Now again, I do wanna cover a few stocks here. Today, we had Netflix kind of go crazy. You're just ripping to the upside. You go to something like the two hour time frame, just going crazy. Um, you do have a daily, we've mentioned this quite a bit. You have a, this is one of the this top stocks I wanted to buy. I got stopped out, unfortunately, way back. I just never got back into it. But, you know, we've been targeting the 506 push going into these earnings as well. I'm going to tell you right now holding through earnings, any stock, don't even ask, don't even comment down below. It's a terrible idea. You're gambling. So I'm not, I have no opinion. You're not going to like my answer. Okay. But I do believe. Netflix has a path for profitability. I think they have a path to make money. They have a path to do really good. I'm going to tell you that right now. People may not like to hear it, but it is what it is, especially with what they're doing with the different subscription plans and then the numbers that they are putting out consistently. Okay. Now, Tesla, very interesting what they're doing in Cybertruck, but I do want to say you're coming into a really big level. Tesla, what I'm watching for after earnings is can you get above 314? You get above 314, 315. I think you're pushing to all time highs. My personal opinion, be watching out for that. Um, going in a little bit deeper, some of the favorite stocks I like, uh, Snowflake, S-N-O-W. Now, if you follow us on Twitter, I, I posted this earlier. I mean, I've been saying this on repeat. Mount 25, you already know what to do. You're mounting it, beautiful candle. We go to something like the four-hour time frame here. We'll put the candle right there on around 185, roughly, just roughly right there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful candle right on top of it, right? This is exactly what you want to see. So again, great candle mounted above it. Buyers quickly pushing it back over. Beautiful formation happening there. Also going to Amazon, you're trying to hold above the 200 MA on the, I believe, weekly as well. You got a little bit of a rejection there. This is a big question mark here. Can we get back above it? Would be watching that across the board as well. Uh, going into something like Meta, we saw a lot of announcements today from Meta also. They're announcing more AI plans with Qcom. They're announcing AI plans with Microsoft. They're getting their foot in every single door here, it seems. I like what Meta is doing. I still think it's a great trade. Also, too, look at this opportunity you had here. The retest of 304, not flat, but just 304.7, still great, and pushing back up. Exactly what we want and need to see. So, again... As we look just across the board, the names that we keep saying, and if you know anything about me right now, my favorite names are cloud names, Snow, CrowdStrike, CRM. Those are all some of my favorite names, right? But if we look just across the board, you're getting very similar setups just consistently. You, you dip down to support, buyer step back in, higher lows, higher highs, consistently time and time again. Now, that is not to say that we cannot have a dip. That's not to say we can't go down. We're going to go up forever. It's to point the viewpoint of this is that you have to understand the trend in what you're trading. If you don't feel comfortable trading the upside, then you wait for the trend to flip, to change, but you might be waiting a while. You have to understand that. And so that's just where we're at here. I recommend it again, 
hitting the break, pausing, let some of these earnings play out before you start looking at swings or bigger plays there. Okay, understand what's happening there. Now, I do want to show you all something really quick. And, and this just goes to show that what we're doing is working, right? And I, know, I don't like to just highlight Discord and say, oh, well, we make all this money. It's this, it's that. But I do want to say this right here. You know, it is totally, totally working in here. Because you can see that these swings, this is where you're making your, your profitability. This is where you're making your money. Coop, I posted this on, dis, on Twitter earlier. She's been absolutely killing it. So over the past month, month and a half since she joined Discord, she's up 142% on her portfolio. Now that's not saying because she's following our exact trades and Coop will probably comment down below in this video. She watches the video every day. But it's to say this, that when you start prioritizing your weaknesses and focusing on trading what the market gives you instead of what do you want to take from the market, that's when you start to see profitability. That's when you start to see consistent success, right? And so that's all I'm saying here is sometimes it's better to just take a step back, wait for setups that benefit you and your trading style. And that's what I've been doing all along the past four or five months specifically, you know, actually it's around six months, seven months now going back to January. So that's just how we've been playing and what's worked for us. So again, I just really push you guys to take a step back sometimes hit a hit the chill button and just let the setups continue to come to us like they have been you know microsoft we've been talking about this one for for weeks right clear mount above you know previous highs we mentioned in yesterday's video right 343 you had another one today and then boom you shot up so again having that patience being able to just let them come to you and not being over aggressive that's been the biggest things over the past few weeks i can only say it so many times be patient Pay attention to what's happening and then understand if there's something that you're missing, what you missed and why you missed it. So you can correct those specific issues. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck, traders.